across here. So we're going diagonal according to the roads and uh, pulling our beans. And that's what's uh, filling in our divots. Burns a little more fuel to pull it, but it's worth it. Yeah, that looks much better than it did. Pretty smooth. So, anyway. I got the M up here at the shop. I gotta take the hood off net. It's got one of those damn power steering units on it. And it works great, but over the period of about a year and a half, it loses its oil. So that's one more little project. But anyway, let's see if we can get some winter rye down. Yeah, I got the weight box off. But now, this is what happens when you're a hoarder, you know? So, I'm after that cone that's under the clapboards. And some other stuff here. I gotta spend five minutes moving shit. But we'll get her out. Nothing unusual for me. Hey, I've got this thing on. As you can see, it doesn't fit the eye match. You know, we're way off up here. That's what I got the safety chain for. Because, as you can see, it just barely catches. But, we've got a winter rye in there. Let's go give it a whirl, see what it does. Well, you can see where I went with the tractor. I'm all done. I was going to video it when I was putting it down. You can see, you know, there seems to be plenty out here. Um, we'll get the discs on in a few minutes and just put a real light set into them. Go over it all. That'll get, you know, 75% of it buried a little bit. Otherwise the turkeys will come along and they'll, you know, go right through, crows, everything else. So we'll get it buried here in a little bit, but I need to put some power steering fluid in the old M. So, I gotta do that next. Hey, I'm gonna go hook on to Harrow's. This is like real low. I just filled it up out here. But I'm going to run it here for a little bit with the hood off, just to see where this damn thing's leaking. Um, I think it's leaking underneath the cover. But, you know, I don't know. Hard to say. I got a lot of leaks here. But, you know, it needs to be kind of overhauled and regasketed. You know, I got some stuff going on here. Rocket cover's leaking a little bit. You know, just needs a little love. But, she goes good. We'll uh, see if it comes out of the lower pet cot. May not. Oh, look at that. All kinds of oil. Nice and, nice and clean. That's a little low, but it ain't down to the ad yet. So, we're going to call it good. At least it's not black so anyway i'm gonna set my tools off here we'll go get the harrows and we'll disc that a little bit out there see if we can't get it covered up now i'm gonna start this old girl up she's up at an idle switch let's see if we can get this thing going oh come on Leaks, it just leaks. As you can see, I gotta get a new 
fuel exhaust. But anyway, we're gonna go over and hook on to Harold. Shut that pulley off. I always put it engaged and then set the fuel can on it when I'm fueling up. Makes it handy. Get the alternator working good. Brakes off. Beautiful. Oh, that's much better. Oh, he was getting pretty jerky there at the end of it. Man, that pulley turns easy. It will stop eventually. But it's got brand new bearings on it, and there's quite a bit of weight on that pulley. Grease this set of harrows, and of course, halfway through, I ran out of grease. You know how stuff is. Leave the drag there here because I don't want to have that scrape in the seed. Don't really have to tie these, all you got to do is just do that. It'll stay on there for a month.
just a simple matter of going around and around out here. I'll bring you back in a little bit. Well, I'm almost done. I took a little set out of the Harrows after about half a turn there. A little bit less. kind of an interesting thing I didn't actually get any pictures because I didn't didn't really want to be uh, intrusive and ask if I could take pictures of people because the kids were tiny I got to tell you this story so in this town live some very nice people to do I don't know what window company they started but it was one of the big vinyl companies um, I don't remember if it's Pella or Paradigm. I don't know what it is, but it's, it was a, it could be Anderson Windows. I don't know. But they started one of the big window companies. And they come here all the time. They got a summer place. And they're super, super nice down to earth people. Well, it just happens that their grandchildren, a pair of twins, identical twins, are the twins that play on young Sheldon. And you may say, well, there's no twins on young Sheldon. Well, they have to have a set of identical twins whenever they're filming kids because of the restrictions of how long they can film with them. So they got these two kids, and every time you see another scene, it's probably the different kid, you know? It's, they swap them back and forth. Anyway, they brought the kids here, the grandkids. 
and uh, they eat very big, oh my word. And well, they got a girl there from the Czech Republic that helps them, uh, nanny basically. And she says to me, she says, yeah, hold, hold it if you want. And it's like, oh my God, a little tiny, tiny, like, you know, four, five pound kid. It's like, uh, it's probably more than that, probably 10 pounds. But I'll tell you that I couldn't believe how small a kid is. You know, I haven't held a young kid for 15, 18 years. But it was kind of fun. You know, the kids on Young Sheldon, or the kid, as you see him on TV, but it's actually two. Yeah, they just left here. Kind of cool. Um, I, uh, I, t I told the mother there, I says, I had to believe I've actually touched a movie star in my life. You know? But anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. So they just left, but I didn't get any film of it. Um, probably should have asked them that. You know, they want their privacy. They're up here on vacation. So, but it was kind of cool. Anyway, so I'm going to get back to Harrowing. We're going to go up behind the greenhouses, hook on to the uh, drag that I just unhooked from. This is still all greased up well. We've only pulled it around there for five minutes. And yeah, get back at it. Just one of them little interesting things that happened today. Kind of fun. You never know. heroin with the hood off here I noticed where this oil's coming from it's coming from one of these two fittings and I'm not sure which one it is but it's coming right here somewhere I'm gonna go get me a light see if I can figure it out yeah these things weren't even half tight not even a little bit so that's probably where the problems coming from Kind of odd. Now I gotta get uh, maybe a crow's foot under here because this line's in the way here. Unless I can push that out. Oh, maybe it'll go. I'll be back in a minute. So I got, this is aluminum, I believe. I'm gonna take it off anyway. We've either got a crack in this aluminum block or something. Uh, I gotta take it apart. So yeah, I can get an Allen wrench in by there. I can get one in by there. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. It'll take a few minutes. I'm gonna unhook this stuff again and get it out of my way. Um, not a big deal. So anyway. I'll let you know what I find out. Well, everybody, it's come evening. Me and Carol are walking the dogs just for something to do. About uh, 70, yeah, not even 70. Must be about 65, probably. Pretty cool out. And uh, anyway, you know, one of them nights doesn't get much better. Anyway, I hope everybody out there is keeping safe. Don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe if you don't mind. I'd appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Trying to get these guys some exercise. They're not trained walkers, as you can tell. Usually they just live in their pen. They live by their nose. So, anyway, take care, everybody.